Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Monster Drink Fan 605 here back with another tutorial video. And today's tutorial video is on, is how to deal with someone with bipolar disorder. Now, um bipolar disorder is a mental illness that occurs in some human beings that are, you know, when the disorder is going on with their families and that. So, um mostly bipolar disorder is one of the worst um, uh, disorders in the world. Like, okay, now here are signs of a bipolar disorder. Now, the first sign of bipolar disorder is when you have mood swings, and it's um, uh, when you like come from happy to sad, and then sometimes later on you'll get like really irritated, like you'll like get extremely angry or pissed off you know, etc. Um, and there are sometimes, you know, some people with bipolar disorder will have low self-esteem where um, they'll like to cause trouble a lot or, you know, or make problems with other people or whatever. And, and, and that happens to a lot of people with bipolar disorder. And I know a friend of mine that has bipolar disorder and trust me, it's, um, even his brother's bipolar too. And, and apparently bipolar disorder runs in with the family. Pretty much if there's a dad in the family or a mother in the family that is bipolar. And apparently um, if one of the parents is bipolar, then probably the kid is bipolar too. When they were first born. When I was born, um, I had showed signs of autism, which is Asperger's Syndrome. It's, it's a form of autism, but it's not that bad though, like... Um, when I was young, though, I did throw temper tantrums when I was young and had trouble, you know, controlling my behavior and that. But whenever I grew up, though, like, I, my behavior started to get even more better. And, um, but, uh, bipolar disorder, it's kind of worse than autism because, um, so bipolar disorder is when there's mood swings, low self-esteem, drug abuse or whatever, but, um, so, but here are some ways on how to deal with someone. If you're living with somebody or you're a friend with somebody or in a relationship with somebody that is bipolar. Um, so on how to deal with it, though, is okay. If they get irritated at some point, so they start to get really angry, um, just don't say anything to them. Just don't, like, calm them. Don't tell them to calm down because they're not going to calm down. Just zip and like um like in a calm way just uh ask them really nicely what's bothering them in a really nice way is because if they're irritated or they're angry or depressed if they're in those um episodes of anger or depression just uh ask them in a really nice way what's bothering them and and apparently um if they um announce what they're what's bothering them though like if it's something you did if you apologize like sometimes they're not going to accept it but don't let that bother you because that happens with a lot of people with bipolar disorder one but the thing is um like never get angry though if they're I mean, if they're bothering the heck out of you and if they're like the, if they keep on you know spreading rumors about you or whatever that's you do, you know, um, uh, just tell the person that they told the person to about what they said about you. That and just tell them it's a lie, because you know, just tell them that they're in their, you know, depressive episode or angry episode or whatever. Um, mostly the reason why people with bipolar disorder mostly goes around spreading rumors about people or bullying people or whatever. The reason why they do that is because um. Something's bothering them, so they decided to cheer themselves up by picking on people and make themselves feel better. Well, apparently, picking on people is not really the answer to a solve a problem. Um, most people with bipolar disorder um, mostly take medication to um, decrease their um, behavior to a positive mode, and. I never took in any medication for my Asperger's Syndrome, because, uh, nah, I mean, it's not that bad, though, like, 
Most people with bipolar disorder, they, I mean, some people have bipolar disorder, but it's not really that bad sometimes, but I know some people that have severe bipolar disorder, and apparently one of my friends is severely bipolar and has anger issues. And, but uh, he's not schizophrenic, he just has, you know, problems controlling his anger or depression or, you know. Most people with bipolar disorder will use alcohol or or any kind of drug to um, make themselves um, feel better and not feel angry or depressed anymore. Uh, sometimes it can work, but sometimes it doesn't, though. But, um, but uh, if your friend is, if you have a friend that's bipolar, if you have a parent that's bipolar, or you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that's bipolar, just uh, don't get upset if they got upset with you, or if they said something to you that might have been offended you. Is because of your lazy eye, or your disability, or or if you're handicapped, or you know, but or your race. But I'm pretty sure some people with bipolar disorder has nothing to um, uh, has nothing against race, but. Just if they say anything that offends you or hurts you really hard or whatever, just don't say anything or, um, uh, to them, like yell at them or whatever. Or, like if you try asking them nicely, it's not gonna work though. But that's probably why the person had yelled at them instead of, you know, staying calm and just pretend it doesn't bother you. That's pretty much what I do if I had to deal with somebody that's bipolar or has problems with this anger or depression or has low self-esteem, just uh, don't get angry at them because that's just going to make them ev even extremely angry or depressed. Mostly I did that before and the person was kind of depressed and kind of angry. Well, he was, he was in the verge of tears when it happened though, so the best thing to do is if they said anything that offended you, just don't say anything about it though because or yeah, or yell at them, because that's not going to help them. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, some people with bipolar disorder will probably feel terrible about the things they say once they grow up, like, in their adult age or whatever, and they'll start to feel really depressed or angry. But the thing is, if you're friends with somebody that's bipolar, just don't get angry with them. Just pretend you're used to it. Like, if... If you have problems with their behavior or whatever, if you don't like how they're acting and they're not supposed to be acting this way, then just don't say anything or just uh, act like, you know, you enjoy being friends with them or, you know, just laugh a little bit, okay? Laugh at some of the jokes they said so that way they know that it doesn't bother you anymore because when they know it doesn't bother you anymore, they probably won't do it anymore or they'll keep on doing it until you really do get pissed off. But the thing is, just, uh, like, ask them, like, is, is there anything I can do for you? Like, um, do you want me to, you know, you have someone to talk to, or, you know, um, because, you know, if, if your friend's bipolar, if you're bipolar, you have someone to talk to. And I'm pretty sure they'll try to clear some things out and see if they could try to help you deal with the problem you're going through or whatever. Because um, sometimes medication will work, though, because medication will sometimes just make it worse. I don't know, but... Um, but mostly, um, some people with um, kind of um, a disability or whatever, like ADHD or Tourette Syndrome or Bipolar Disorder... Or, or autism or whatever, like some people take medication for their um, behaviors because, um, like, for example, like a long time ago, have you have you guys ever heard of the Columbine shootings um, that took place in 1999, April 20th? Um, Eric Harris was one of those people that actually did take medication for their behavior, which is anger issues, I think, or having homicidal or suicidal thoughts. Um, the medication that Eric Harris took was, um, Luvox. 
and Luvox is, um, it's supposed to be medication for obsessive and compulsive disorder. And apparently when he took the medication, it didn't work. It actually made his behavior even more worse, which made him shoot up a high school. But the thing is, um, any kind of medication that people take, though, it can sometimes um, bring up warning signs of what they're going to do or what they're actually going to do. Like, they'll either use um, low self-esteem or a gun or a knife to solve their problems, which is definitely not a good way to solve their problems, though, because they're probably either looking for suicide or, you know. But the thing is, um, but yeah, bipolar disorder is pretty much one of them. It's kind of like um, one of the disorders, like obsessive-compulsive disorder. But... But yeah, if you're dealing with anybody that has bipolar disorder, just talk to them, let them know, like, what's bothering them. Ask them, like, what should I do? Like, what should I do to, you know, make a change? Or, you know. And and then he'll try to figure it out, too. Even you'll try to figure it out. But, um... But if you look up online, though, if you look up bipolar disorder on Wikipedia... Um, it actually shows you what signs that people show whenever they're bipolar. And Elijah is pretty much one of the first people I met that has bipolar disorder. And, uh, um, so yeah, bipolar disorder is one of the worst, uh, syndromes in America. I mean, I'm pretty sure it occurred in the UK or Germany or any kind of country area. But, um, I got nothing else to say, but just try, uh, talking to the person that's bipolar, or just try to get used to the things they say, because sometimes the things they say will sometimes not hurt anymore, because they say the same things every day, though, like, if they call you a faggot, or, or if they just do things to you, like, every day, all the time, and apparently they know it bothers you. But the reason why they're doing it is because they're just looking for attention. They're they're just wanting you to know, uh, wanting to you know, wanting you to know what they're going through. Because this is what they're like every day. That's probably what they're like. Mostly with pe people with bipolar disorder, mostly get angry at antibiotic objects, such as like a trash can or TV or a console, like an Xbox 360 or whatever. Mostly people with bipolar disorder will get frustrated with the things that they're trying to work with. Like say like if they're trying to work on a car and all of a sudden the, the motor's not working and they're, they're getting extremely pissed off and that happens to me a bunch of times whenever I have to deal with an antibiotic object that doesn't work I get pissed off. Um, I remember one time a bunch of times that I always thought if I was bipolar but I was trying to think to myself, am I really bipolar or maybe I, am I just autistic? But, but there are sometimes I always thought that I was bipolar because I did show signs where I was angry or depressed or have low, I have a little bit of low self-esteem. I can be a little irritating at some points though, but the thing is it happens to a lot of people. So anyways, um, so that's pretty much, uh, I got it about bipolar disorder. I'm just watching a movie. I'm watching Nightmare on Elm Street 3, um, Dream Warriors. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video on how to deal with some of the bipolar disorder. Um, um, just to let you know, like, people with bipolar disorder, uh, these, um, uh, you gotta know, like, when you know the signs. Like, mostly the signs I've seen when, in people with bipolar disorders, mostly they'll get angry and depressed or or self, low self-esteem. Those are kind of one of the three key things I knew about bipolar disorder from other people that I knew, but, uh... Um, so, uh... But, yeah, do the best you can to figure out, uh... 
to figure out why are they like this or whatever. Um, but you finally know, though, it's because they're bipolar. But most people are mostly like this because they were born that way. So, uh, I'll see you guys later.